Um, what we're going to do is just follow our order of operations. We have to apply the dot product first. So let's figure out what our dot product is. Um, now, one thing is when applying the dot product, remember the dot product of u dot v is going to be u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2. All right. So we look at our and we look at our two vectors, and we guess we could put them in component form, or we could just say that all right, we already know that this is u1, that's u2. This is v1, and that's v2. But remember, the i and j's are just part of your linear combination. So u1 is just 4, right? So I have 4 times 3 plus um, negative 2 times 5. All right, so do you guys understand why it's just those? It's not the i's and j's. If you want to convert it to component form, do that. But just make sure it's your coefficients are going to be your u1 and v1 and u2, v2, right? Don't get, don't start throwing in the i's in there, yeah, i's and j's. So therefore, we end up having 12 minus 10, which equals 2. So now we have the vector u times 2, or we rewrite that as 2u. Now remember what happens when we have a scalar times a vector. All right. What we do is we multiply that scalar times both of our terms in our vector. So 2u. If you're going to look at it, um, so 2u is now going to be equal to 2 times 4i minus 2j, which is equal to 2 times 4i minus 2 times 2j. So therefore, that equals 8i minus 4j. OK? And that's it. That's how you find it. Good? Another question. Um, 